My parents shifted up here in, in the mid 70s to um, buy a bigger farm, an irrigation property at Cayuga. Alex Peacock, I'm a, a farmer and contractor based in Northern Victoria at Timmering. We started uh, with transport, I think in 1985. About 12 years ago, my daughter Rebecca joined the business as an administration role. And um, then a few years later, her husband Joel came on board as a, a farm manager slash operator. We, we've got about six prime movers at the moment and about 20 trailers. We cart grain, hay, agricultural machines, Australia-wide. We supply freight to some of the major agricultural importers and um, we work with Coon on a lot of their products as well, shifting them all over the country. I think initially it was, we, we started making hay on the parents' farm and just moved into contracting from then. And um, when we started making hay professionally, we had a small square baler and um, everything was done by hand. At some stage we bought our first large square baler and it was about the time when um, those bales were pretty new and it was an interesting time to be in the period of conversion from small squares to larger square bales and the different handling techniques and it was, it was good just to, to have that productivity boost of for transport of having more more weight on the truck there other than a few ton of round bales or, or a lot of labour in small square bales and um, and as as bale weights have increased, our, our load capacities have increased enormously over the last few years. I think I bought the first ID baler just to, to try the innovation out or try the technology out and uh, found it was a lot more fuel efficient than another baler we had at the time. The ID I found was a lot easier on the tractor. We, we could get another 40 or 50 bales out of a tank of fuel in similar conditions. One of the things we talked about when buying our ID baler was, was the warranty. It's important to me that machinery manufacturers back their product and, and Kuhn backed it pretty well with a three year warranty, I think. When we bought our first ID baler, uh, we were offered a couple of days training in, um, at Kuhn's head office in Melbourne. And, it makes it easier for us to talk to their service people if we understand more about the machines we're using. We have access to people when we need them and access to parts if we need them too and it's, it makes our business easy to run. I think the people at Coon understand the urgency of harvest work and, and appreciate that we need parts when we need them. We've won some awards with with different types of hay over the years for um, for people we bale for and, and some we've grown ourselves for for quality of loosen and vetch and cereal hay. And um, it's taken a while to learn how to do it properly. And we've got to have a bit of luck and with weather and conditions. I think when the weather's kind we make a very good product, but um, sometimes we struggle. I try and buy the best tools I can for what we're doing and um, we can achieve a very, very uniform, very square bale in, in most conditions and that's probably because of the way the sensors work on the pre-chamber. It's exciting to see what challenges the year's going to bring and if we can go to make any decent hay or whether we're going to get rained on or if, if we can achieve a good quality product and, and be recognised for it, I think that's, that's wonderful. I think it gives you a bit of a, a boost and uh, the people you work for a boost as well. Autumn's a time when you're, you're bearing your hopes and, and plans and hoping you achieve something and, and uh, springs, or well, the end of springs when we're harvesting and, and seeing what we did achieve and I don't think we've ever had two years the same and um, I hope we never do.